Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, shares, um, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. This will be about what will take place within the next 24 to 72 hours. I'm just going to let's see what uh, let spirit bring whatever uh, needs to come through, uh, whatever it has to do with your, you know, finances, um, family life, your love life, whatever wants to come through. And then I'll just, you know, go from there. Okay. So since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So please keep that in mind. If you start to feel confused, it's probably not your reading. Um, I do offer a personal reading. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video to just the video description um, where it says show more or see more um, as well as all the decks I'm using here today. Um, all the items you see my Instagram information. I'm also using the clarity candle for manifestation of this reading uh, candles are listed below as well. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get the general energies surrounding what's taking place within the next 24 to 72 hours um, and let spare bring whatever they want to bring forth to you at this time okay all right so this is the um, psychic tarot for the heart so i'm going to go ahead and get three cards from here so we have number five change your focus so this is the five of cups so um this is an energy, um, I go by the words first and the secondary meaning of Five of Cups energy, but um, there is some emphasis around changing your focus or someone around you or that you're thinking about maybe changing their focus when it comes to sadness, um, missing someone or some type of apology. So then we have uh, number 16 here. Also, um, I don't know if I said it already because um, I'm all over the place today. <laughs> Five represents change. So this could be something that is um, changing um, as well. Okay. So we have number 16. This is the towers energy and we have rebuild. So something um, maybe there might be a focus energy about rebuilding something. Um, with this uh, tower energy, maybe rebuilding um, connection, something lost or something that was sad, something maybe close to uh, your heart. Um, this is also number seven. So this is something spiritual. So let's get another card here. And then we have number 18 could be significant also is nine near the completion of a, a cycle. So we have confront. So this is person is like they're looking at their shadow. This could be also looking to the past. This is the energy of the moon. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, but there's some some kind of an energy where someone is confronting their shadows. OK, so could be shadows around sadness or an apology. But someone has taken a look at um, their shadow side or uh, the past or things that they've been hiding from. OK. So this is the energy oracle cards. This is the energy that you're in during this period. And we have number 15. So this could be significant. Also, it's, it's number six. So um, appreciation. So you're in this energy of being, you know, very um appreciative for the things that you have or the things that you're receiving um there's flowers there so you could be you know appreciative towards you know a uh, love situations your family things that you have in your life but you're in um an appreciation uh energy here all right so let's this is the energy of the person or the situation um, that will be the subject of what's taking place within the next 24 to 72 hours. And we have patience. So 16 is here twice. 
16 be, could be number that you see. Um, this is also again number seven, so you could be seeing 1616 or 77. Um, but we have patience. So patience is also the energy of, you know, balance action, balance emotion. So there's some kind of uh, energy of needing to be patient or have patience uh, regarding um, some type of situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this might be about. This is my mystery house deck. This is my uh, latest deck. This is available below if you live in the United States. Uh, from my site or Metsy shop, but if you're international, interested in any of my decks, please send me an email below and I will send you the link to order. So why is this change your focus here? Let's see what this energy is about. So we have a headstone. So a name, date, or reminder. So there could be an energy or someone is changing their focus, either something that... Um, has to do around a date. It could have to do around somebody's name or some type of reminder, okay? It could be something that is, you know, maybe it was over in the past too with this headstone energy, something, um, something solid or something from the past, something that might've ended, okay? A reminder about something um, that may have taken place in the past. So let's go ahead and see why this Rebuild is here, the main energy behind Rebuild. Masculine energy. Okay, so this has to do with a, a masculine. So there, this masculine could be wanting to rebuild something. Um, for those of you new in this journey, masculine or feminine energy can be male or female, even when you hear me say he or she. But there's um, the Rebuild energy is a tower. Uh, energy. So there could be some type of breakthrough taking place uh, with the masculine or there's uh, something that's going to be rebuilt um, with this energy. This could be the divine masculine. Um, this could be a, a male figure in your life. Um, you know, father, um, uncle, uh, anything like that. Someone that is a strong masculine energy. So let's go ahead and see why the confront card is here. What is this confronting? Spirit box. Okay, so this is 5D communication voices. So someone may be um, ready to confront the voices that they might be hearing, um, you know, in their head, like through the 5D, through some type of communication. Maybe they're getting it from spirit, um, what they should do, or that this it could be opposite that, you know, someone you know is confronting this energy. You could be receiving uh, 5D communication in that kind of a way, okay? But somebody is confronting something in the 5D. So some of this energy may also come out. Um, some of this energy, I want to make sure you can see this. Oh, okay. Some of this energy may come out um, through your dreams. So, some of this may happen in the 5D and then some may um, come through in the dreams, okay? So let's go ahead and get more into what this is all about. What is this headstone? So this is um, Seven of Wands. So this is um, a defensive energy. This is about blocking overcoming obstacles, uh, standing your ground. So there could be some type of energy where something that is causing you to be reminded about being so defensive, um, whether it's some type of sadness or some type of emotion that you need to kind of stand your ground and overcome those obstacles. So if you're getting some type of reminder of the past that might make you sad you regarding somebody's name or a date you know that is a reminder like maybe it has to do with that 16 16 maybe something happened around your connection on that date or uh the seventh um it's a defensive energy is when i'm getting change your focus um overcome obstacles and possibly not be 
so defensive or this is the person that um is in that energy so i'm gonna just go section by section this is my twin flame messages this is um also available below so let's get some more information about this headstone in this seven of wands also that's fire energy so some of you could be dealing with uh, leo sagittarius or aries and then we have water energy pisces cancer or scorpio specifically pisces so what is this why is the seven of wands here yeah see this i keep hearing or seeing your name so some something that you may keep hearing or seeing your name uh or somebody um it's getting constantly remind, reminded. I'm feeling like something that might have taken place, something that may have ended. Um, you're in this energy, either you're changing your focus or a spirit is telling you um, to do that. You know, just kind of uh, stand your ground and just, um, you know, just try to overcome it, change your focus, like maybe focus on other things that you have going on in your life because the energy is in around patient. So like if you are focused on a masculine energy and you keep being reminded of them is basically saying to change your focus, you know, not be so uh, defensive, overcome the obstacles of this um, while there is a need to be patient when it comes to this connection. OK, um, or whoever it may be. So this is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Let's clarify this energy. Mask. Not showing true feelings. High personify pretend delude gaslighting. Yeah, so if you're getting some type of reminder that somebody is is still like wearing a mask and they keep hiding their, their feelings um, for you, um, this is an energy where you just need to change your focus, you know, during this period and have patience. Um, for some of you, um, if this has to do with someone else, they could be shifting their focus and trying to come out of this mask because maybe this is where they've been hiding uh, and being in this energy so long um, because of that, that sadness and missing someone. So maybe they're wanting to overcome obstacles to get from behind um, that mask. Okay, so let's go ahead and see why this masculine energy is here. Knight of Pentacles. So the masculine energy, for some of you, someone wants to make some type of an offer. Okay, Knight of Pentacles is some type of gift, some type of offer in the physical realm. This is somebody that takes their time as well, that's been slow in their movement, but there's some type of uh, progress here um, is what I'm getting. Um, for some and then others that are battling this out is you are in this defensive energy needing to change your focus because of the slow movement of this Knight of Pentacles. Um, because there is with this is under the rebuild. So there is some type of tower energy. So some kind of breakthrough is uh, taking place um, within this masculine. Um, some of you could be dealing with uh, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Um, this could also have to do with money as well. Could be, you know, taking control over money, a uh, financial situation. So let's go ahead and see why that is there. I'm trying to move this over a little bit. Okay. All right. So where was that? Okay. I lost my focus. <laughs> Change your focus. And I lost my focus. All right. It was changed. All right. So let's go ahead and see what this Knight of Pentacles might be here for. What might, oh wait, I don't want to use these cards. I want to use these ones. See, I told you I'm all over the place. Very distracted today. Um, what is this Knight of Pentacles here for with this masculine energy? Unfinished conversations. So this masculine may either be coming to offer some type of gift an offering to um, about some unfinished conversations that you guys have um, between you or again this is going to be the opposite for some that you need to change your focus 
out of this energy that you guys have these unfin uh, unfinished conversations because of the slow movement and this is what the patients would be requiring so let's go ahead and clarify this energy so we have addiction so codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint um restraint so we have the rebuild card here okay so i feel like this is something that is being tore down somebody is wanting to rebuild something okay maybe this conversation is going to be about something that is having to do with some type of past addiction maybe something they were tied to maybe it was their pride and ego um any of that nature okay some some type of energy here but there's a rebuild energy associated with this yeah that's what i'm getting for this one so let's keep going forward <clears throat> all right so why is this spirit box here what is this 5d communication voices what is this spirit box four wands Okay, so there's communication. Some of you may be receiving this in the 5D, that there is some energy possibly um, with this masculine that may be changing their focus of being so defensive, wearing a mask in a slow movement and um, uh, for some of you guys. And then, like I said, some of you are just, you know, going to need to change your focus during this time while someone is possibly confronting their shadows as there is a need to be patient. But you're in appreciation energy. So I really don't feel like this being a challenge uh, energy for you um, at all. But some kind of information through the uh, 5D you're going to receive regarding um, this is the 1111 card. Uh, this is about unions. This is about celebrations. So you could be receiving some information um, for those of you that um, associated with Twin Flame Connection um, around that, around the Twin Flame uh, uh, communication around possibly union. Um, some, it could be about some type of celebration or something going on with a foundation um, that's taking place that somebody is confronting, confronting their um, shadows, because that's what this card is um, here for. I'm just going to move this down here because I can't. Um, I, I need it to be next to this so I know these energies. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm very picky. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get more information. What might be coming through through the spirit box within the next 24 to 72 hours? Why is this spirit box here um, with the four of wands? There we go. I don't know how to approach you. So your person may communicate. Um, they may confront their shadows here of explaining how they don't know how to approach you or this you know could be reversed you could be um, giving communication to your person how to confront their shadows and how to come forward to approach you okay that's also what i'm getting from that so let's clarify this spirit box energy with the four of wands So girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, uh, having fun. So some of you might get some type of in this girl talk, you know, it could be guys or gals. OK, so you may get some type of communication. Um, it could be through friends as well. Friends might be involved in this. Maybe there's friends helping. Um, in this connection, maybe helping someone to move on to be single or to go towards how they are able to go towards their happiness and get out of the shadow energy and the sadness and be able to rebuild this. So, but there is some communication energy here that's taking place. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna take this over to the extended in a second, but I'm gonna look at the uh, bottom energies. So if you're interested in joining um, us on, in the extended, please see the link below um, to join, okay? All right, so let's go here first. So we have fine balance. So there's an emphasis about balance because we have this uh, energy about patience. So this could be your person coming to try to balance the situation or this is you needing to be patient and find balance um, in this energy. This is also the um, two of Pentacles energy. So this is a, a, a juggling energy. This is juggling either you could be juggling um, finances and a person, you know, or this could also be about two different uh, people, uh, situations, to um, indicate partnerships. So someone could be trying to balance out the juggling, um, either juggling between uh, a couple of people or a couple of situations, or trying to find balance as far as um, a decision. Let me just glance first. I'm going to make sure that is the two of wands. I mean, I said two of pentacles. Yeah, okay, two of pentacles. I just want to make sure. I haven't looked at these cards in a while. Oh my gosh. Do you see how many energies here are of balance? Angel of balance. And there's a gift here. 48 could be significant with some of you guys. So there is a need to... Some of you may be juggling um, uh, what I'm getting as an additional message. Some may, uh, you may be juggling with your emotions and your finances. And I feel like the angels are here to help you to find balance, to confront your shadows in order for you to balance out not only yourself but uh, any connections that you are focused on whether this is you know with friends or this masculine energy so there is um, an angel here helping you to find balance helping you to juggle all this energy um, while either you or your person is confronting some shadows okay confronting things that might be hidden um, as well. This is also number uh, 12 together. So some of that um, could be significant uh, too. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these cards. Struggling with picking up the cards art. <laughs> it's hard to get it off of this table. Okay. So we have superhero. So we have childhood memories, okay? So this could be something that, I'm getting a couple of things here with this. This could have to do with something that has to do with your past. You know, things that might've taken place in your past. Some could have centered around this masculine energy, could have been a father uh, figure um, as well. Um, somebody that might, uh, you know, either you saw as your superhero or they, they didn't come through for you as a superhero. And you kind of like that person is, you know, feeling a little bit of off balance because of those energies. Okay. That's also what I'm getting from this energy. This is also like, you know, fond memories. So this could be trying to balance out whatever took place in the past, in the childhood, whatever memories that you might have had. Maybe there were some addictions involved. Maybe people didn't um, talk to you the way that they should. Um, you know, maybe when I, when I say the way that they should, they were always, you know, interested in their outlook, their perspective, and not seeing things from your perspective. And so you kind of hit some of your feelings is what I'm getting. You, you kind of hit some of those feelings um, because of that. So some of you have already confronted this or you, you know, you're doing this and maybe some people around you are confronting this as well. Um, 
your person is if there's someone you're thinking about could be confronting their past too, why they feel out of balance why they've been so defensive okay and why they've been hiding or you know been in this um this type of codependent uh behavior is also what i'm getting for some of you okay all right so let's get the other cards here yeah so this is about putting the effort in okay this is about working hard some could be working on their money so this could be trying to find balance with your finances you know trying to overcome obstacles uh, uh, financially um, this is about put, um, putting in the work though putting in the work in the effort to find some type of balance as well this is number eight so we have six seven and eight there is a progression energy here and um eights represent infinity symbol so some of you definitely could be dealing with a uh, twin flame but it could be something that just keeps looping something that is taking uh, place from your your past you know that past energy okay i'm pretending not to care so your person is trying to find balance um, if this has to do with your person on putting the effort into pretending like they don't care about something I feel like spirit is trying to help them find balance and to not focus on this, you know, change your focus, rebuild this because they've been working so hard on pretending that they don't care, but this person does, okay, that they need to confront their shadow. So if this isn't you, this is your person, um, the spirit is getting them to confront balancing out, putting this effort into pretending um, not to care about whatever it is whatever took place in the past or with the connection um, that they have or you know whatever you know took place uh confront you know confront their uh, shadows so then we have ki kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love okay so we have the patience which is about balance action and emotion so there is some energy of someone helping to in the 5d someone is helping in the 5d angel maybe you are helping someone to um, show them this unconditional love how to be able to give and receive because giving and receiving is about balance this is this and this is all about balance so this is about you know a destroy you know destroying any kind of sadness and any kind of shadows confronting them in order to rebuild connections okay Re rebuild connections possibly with this masculine energy or this masculine wanting to rebuild this with you um there is some energy here about uh balance and also possibly patience that you may need to have patience during this time i feel this is mostly about balance though more than anything okay so what i'm going to do is when i go over into the extended I'm going to look a little bit further about what could be reminding this person uh, with this headstone energy that is causing them to um, change their focus. And what is the angels uh, trying to balance out a little bit further into what they might be trying to balance? And what is this unfinished conversation about? Okay. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to pretty much find out. Okay. All right, so if that resonated with you guys, uh, please like. If you're new, also subscribe. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. So you have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light. <laughs>